I welcome you to Portrait. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. My friends all over the world, I want to talk to you about the spirit. Spirit. S-P-I-R-O-I. -I. Spirit. But before we do that, let's take our confession together. Today I am lifted. I will not fail. Jesus never fails. My eyes are on him from whom all blessings flow. For God in him, I'm blessed beyond man's destruction. I'm moving with the power of an ego. I will not stumble. My goals are assured in him, unto his praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. My friend, there is a spirit. Spirit of the living God. I'm not talking of spirits in alcohol. I'm talking about the spirit of the living God. If that spirit dwells in you, ah, Everything that died, that are dead in your life, in your destiny, it has power to, to, to come up alive. It is the spirit that dwell in Jesus. If that same spirit dwells in you, there is nothing you cannot move, no mountain that you cannot move. You can speak to any mountain and that mountain will move. But that spirit does not dwell in a dirty vessel. He said, in a house there are many vessels. Some are auto honor and some are auto dishonor. If you are a vessel of honor, if you are a vessel that the spirit can dwell in, you live a life of purity, a life of that showcase the living God. There is no mountain before you that you cannot bring down. No mountain. No matter how tall the issue is, if you have this spirit, this spirit, it gives you power. Power. This spirit of God, the living God, it gives you power when you have that spirit. There is no fear anywhere. All fear is gone. Power is the dynamic ability to cause changes. If this same spirit that dwells in God is in you, anything can happen. Anything. Anything can happen. Believe it, my friends, all over the world. You don't need to tarry too long in that valley. All you need to do is to anchor in our God. Why not give your life to him? Give your life to him so that that spirit will enter into you. Once that spirit is in you, that same spirit is the one that raised up Jesus from the dead. The same spirit. They went to the sepulchre to go and check on him. They saw that he was no longer in the grave. It's a spirit. That spirit can do anything for any man. But just embrace him so that you will receive that spirit. Do you want to receive that spirit? It's only him that can give you that spirit, not man. But you need to, first of all, confess him as your personal Lord and Savior. Are you willing to receive that spirit? I pray for you as you receive that spirit now by the power in the name of Jesus. Everything that is dead in your life will become alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Take it now. Take